Well, I think you agree we can be proud of our music at Christ Church. You, you're going to hear a good bit more yet before the evening is over. Would be remiss tonight if we didn't stop and think about our organ. This is a great instrument, it's been a great blessing. When we started 20 years ago, we had a very small little spinet that was loaned to us with a half a pedal board. Some of you here can remember that. And that was the first organ we had over at the school. And then we became very affluent a couple of years later and bought our own little instrument and used it for many years till we moved into this building, in fact, uh, in 1970. We always had a choir, started the very first September. There were about six of us and six uh, people who came in from the uh, neighborhood and uh, I think from Wheaton College, probably, as a matter of fact, and helped us out. And we've had a choir ever since, and all of this music program has had its beginnings in that little spinet organ. A few soloists had helped us on Sunday through the first summer in that small choir of 10, 12 voices. Tonight we're going to hear the choir once, uh, the organ once again. As you probably know, there are two organs here. There's a complete organ on either side, one a bit larger than the other. The one being installed in uh, 1978, I believe it was, and uh, the trumpets in the back in uh, 1980, and then in 82, this organ was installed. And really, we have the, the two, one on either side, which gives us a beautiful stereophonic effect, and it's also a marvelous support for congregational singing. Yesterday was Bach's 300th birthday, and so tonight we're going to hear a little bit of Bach on the organ. So now if you stretched a little bit, I'll ask you to sit down, and uh, I have a very special person that I want to introduce to you. When we came to this sanctuary and decided on an organ, we put in an electronic organ, and it was uh, an adequate organ as far as volume was concerned. And in order to really get the feel of the organ, we hired a virtuoso to come to Oak Brook. And we brought Virgil Fox here, and Virgil played the organ, you recall. And a uh, man known all over the country, organist for many years at Riverside Church in New York City. Well, I want to tell you that we put in a better organ today Virgil Fox had nothing over on us. In fact, we have someone who is every bit as good and better. He's probably about to make his debut at Lincoln Center. Who knows? But tonight, I'd like to introduce to you our own artist in residence, Mr. Devon Hollingsworth, who put this whole thing together.
No doubt who our leader is. <laughs> Great joy and privilege to work with someone like Devon. <laughs> <laughs>